Yo, what's good everyone and welcome to another GTA news video and today we will be talking about a new GTA RP glitch which has led to many bans in recent days. If you do go on to enjoy this video or find it helpful then please like and subscribe for more GTA 5 content and with all that out of the way let's get straight into the video. So just like I said in the intro there is a new GTA RP glitch that is still working right now which involves the new payphone hit missions. I won't actually go into the detail or anything about this glitch as first I don't want to strike on my channel and two I don't want you guys actually getting banned but basically in short every time you did a specific payphone hit and did a certain trick with your car on the target it would give you 250 RP like thousands of times allowing you to rank up really really quickly super overpowered but this new glitch has also been spreading like wildfire on YouTube and if you have searched up for G RP glitch in the last 24 hours then seeing one of some glitch similar to this would not surprise me but I strongly advise you guys that you don't do this G glitch inside of GTA Online as Rockstar Games have been clamping down on this RP and many other glitches and players are being banned and reset. But why are Rockstar doing this you may ask? Well, before a major DLC or update, Rockstar likes to go through GTA 5 accounts and ban ones which have been artificially inflated, which basically means accounts that have been either tampered with or have modded money or levels, and in some cases, including this one here, glitched RP. Rockstar doesn't want people transferring new, these new stacked accounts over to the next generation of consoles and with Expanded and Enhanced coming around the corner very soon, releasing on 15th of March to be exact, they want the game to be perfect. So they don't want people selling these accounts and then breaking the in-game economy because on PC it has got a lot better but modding is still definitely a problem and they definitely don't want modded accounts, broken accounts on the new additions because Rockstar really have to redeem themselves after the with the whole mess with the GTA trilogy, they really need to redeem themselves, they need to make this game absolutely spot on, perfect update, it just has to be. But honestly, just don't be stupid. There are plenty of other safer methods that can earn you tons of RP inside of GTA Online currently and if you are a low level player or a new player to GTA Online, GTA Online Expanded and Enhanced will actually offer a support slash new players package or program which will give new or low level players the boost they need to start leveling up and to start making some money. I do believe, do not quote me on this, that it's um, a illicit business, some money, a top range vehicle and just some RP to start you off in the game. But that's all for today's video, I really hope you guys are being sensible and not doing any of these stupid RP glitches currently as it's so close to expanded and enhanced and the chances are just of being banned are just much higher. But comment down below if you have actually been banned from this or any other similar glitch as this will head help spread this information to new people so that others do not get banned and are, don't make the same mistake you did. Share this around as well on Twitter, Reddit and stuff so we can get more views on this video. But like always guys, take care everyone and have a great day.